internet, Danica here, and we are here at E3 2017. 10,000 people are standing right below us waiting to get in. Let's see how far we can get. I don't even know where to go. This is so overwhelming. So as you can see, it's, uh, it's a madhouse in here. <laughs> Um, Xbox's booth is huge. It is absolutely huge. And there are gonna be lines of people everywhere um, playing Forza, uh, playing Crackdown, playing Sea of Thieves. And let's just take a walk around the, the hall and see what else we can find and see the booth setups. What's up everybody? I'm here in Ubisoft's booth. It's extremely loud. South Park is like playing on the speakers. But I'm here with Kevon and we are going to talk about uh, Super Mario Rabbids. What's up? <laughs> I mean, I'm first time at E3. I'm just here. Same. You know, same. Yeah, just taking in everything as, as much as possible, as much as possible. How do you feel about Nintendo Spotlight today and everything that they're offering for Switch? Like a new Pokemon game and Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and just everything that they're bringing to Switch? So, I mean, it definitely is that, um, that system that, you know, they're trying to give you as much as possible, not like the Nintendo Wii U that kind of flopped, unfortunately, but they're definitely giving you as much as you can, you know, trying to give everybody, not just, you know, solely Nintendo fans, but every fan possible that you get something that you, anybody can come out and play. It's for your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your grandparents, every single person. So all the games is definitely something that it, that Nintendo is gonna come to the market right now and be like, yeah, we have everything. We're not gonna let you just sit there and be like, oh, I wonder when this game is gonna come. No, you're going to get this game. You're going to play, you're gonna have as much fun as possible and we're gonna bring as much innovations as possible to help you out. So um, here's part of Activision's booth. The biggest game that they're showing at E3 is the uh, new Call of Duty. We've also got like a giant, a giant Shadow of War booth, which is really awesome. This is like Disneyland, but for people who are really into video games, and some of these booths are definitely for people who are into video games on Wii. So it looks like there's a Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite battle going on, but this setup is freaking sweet. This is the Monster Hunter uh, World booth, which is incredible. There's just a giant dragon sticking out of the side. Um, I'm very excited because finally a Monster Hunter is coming to a big giant console where I can watch it, play it on my giant TV. And I think that's a big theme about this year's E3 is we have a lot of new games that um, are part of big franchises that are now coming to consoles that you can uh, play on your TV with like Kirby and Pokemon and Monster Hunter and a bunch of games so I'm very 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 excited. So we've got some Far Cry 5 gameplay going on over here. Um, I'm not super into Far Cry but I'm very excited to check out Far Cry 5 just based on like the premise alone. I don't feel like waiting in line to play it but it looks very good. God I really want to get in the Xbox booth but it's so packed. There are so many people in there right now. This is a lion, just kidding. Is it? Looks like it. Oh my goodness gracious. I am here in the Xbox booth. I fought my way to the nail to get in here and we are talking to Michael and Julian. What's up guys? Hey, how are you doing? How's your E3 so far? So far, overwhelmingly great. Yeah, it's crazy, it's crazy. So many people. So many people, right? So. What are some other things that you guys are excited about as far as this E3 goes and like the game announcements and yeah. the press conferences? Um, I thought Super Mario Odyssey, which is very different from this, but also looks pretty sweet. Yeah, it's real good, it's real good. Uh, the Xbox One X and the new Dragon Ball Z game. Okay. Oh, fuck yeah. Absolutely. I'm playing that tomorrow. Are you going to get an Xbox One X? I am. Also known as an X Bone X. That's I what I'm calling it. Are you? Okay. As soon as I'm able to pre order one, I'm Do you have an Xbox already? Yeah, I already have one. Uh, but my wife. So, long story short, <laughs> my wife was going to get me an S. I told okay. her, don't do that, baby. You're just wait. wait just yeah. wait. Yeah. Just wait. We need, we need the better so one. So, I've been waiting on it since they announced it. Awesome. And are, are you thinking I'm of... planning on it. Yeah, okay. I'm, going, I'm getting a 4K TV, the whole thing. Oh, my in. God. Yeah. See, everything's That's going to 4K. Pretty soon, like, 
pretty soon 4K won't even be special anymore. It's just going to be all over the place. Right. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for talking to me, Thank guys. You. Have Thank a great you. day. Now, this is a strange contraption I have not seen before. You see, it's a cannon. It does not look so scary. Can I take a photo with you? Yes, you may. Thank you for asking permission. <laughs> Thank you. That's a classic. Tag me. Hey, I will. I want my followers to grow. You seem like an influencer. <laughs> Are you an influencer? Woo. Very, very good. Very good. That um, So a bunch of a shadow of war orcs are hanging out out here, taking photos with people, and they want us to make sure we tag them um, because apparently I'm an influencer now and we're all influencers and they want to be all over social media. So 